Good evening and welcome. That man was Anthony H. Wilson. Good evening and welcome to So It Goes, a or perhaps the new music show. As well as being the first man to wear a bow tie with a leather jacket, Tony Wilson also used his influence within Granada to give some much needed screen time to the most exciting new bands around. All three of the bands tonight, without recording contracts, yet playing music in their own fields a lot better than most bands with recording contracts. And in 1977, there were plenty. The year 1977, arguably, silly word that, the most exciting year in rock and roll since tax exile became fashionable. Debbie Harry and Blondie were virtual unknowns over here when they made their British TV debut at the end of the local news programme, Granada Reports. Can you imagine that happening today? For decades, the footage of this seminal appearance was believed to have been white, but it was rediscovered just a couple of years ago in Tony Wilson's home video collection. Hence the slightly dodgy picture quality. But who cares? This is history. ...are made on, and such stuff has played at its height by none other than Deborah Harry and Blondie. Thank you. Thank you for coming in, Debbie, from New York. You were... The one thing about new wave music which has in common is a kind of simplicity. You were attacked for being a garage band once, weren't you? Yes. What did they say about you? <laughs> were, were, were people really nasty to you? Well, pe business people were. Our friends and our fans weren't. But the, the press put you down in America, didn't it? Yeah. And finally you've come through. Yeah. T tell <laughs> us what your new song is, this song, Ripper to Shreds, is about. It's about gossip. Gossip? As yeah. So who's being ripped to shreds? Well, it's about uh, talking about people, you know, as they pass by you in a bar or something. All right, well, let's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like that. And so, well, let, let's hear it. Rip it to shreds. Okay. Okay, Dan, thank you. This is Blondie from New York, one of the finest of new wave acts. Uh, it's their first time ever on British television. And this is it. Blondie, take it away. Despite this rip-roaring appearance on Granada TV, Ripper to Shreds failed to chart in the UK or even back home in the US. In fact, the only place it slightly dented the charts was in Australia, and even then it peaked at number 81. But no worries, Blondie's first UK hit, Denise, came just a few months later, followed by 15 top 20 UK hits. Debbie Harry was paving the way for a new generation of female rock stars. 